everyone, welcome to new updates of Odoo 18. In today's video, we will discuss about the loan management in Odoo 18. So you can just dive into the accounting module and a new features to manage our loan. So as you just move on to the accounting tab, you can find a new feature called loans over in the menu. So you can just easily manage the loans and here we can see we have created a loan over here. And we have given the name of this as a uh, loan demo and uh, here you can see uh, the amount that is borrowed as well as the interest as well as outstanding balance. So outstanding balance is the amount that uh, the user has borrowed and here you can find the loan date as well as the duration of the loan. So it's just 240 and here you can also uh, set the financed item. So currently you can see we don't have any financed item. So if you want to create a new financed item, you can set that and it is not mandatory to set a financed item over here. And under the amortization schedule, you can see half the amortization or the detection of the amount will be 10. And here you can find the principal amount, interest amount, as well as the payment, as well as the outstanding uh, balances as this loans last for 240 months you here you can find half the amount uh, will be remitted and uh, the amort amortization will be 10 and here under the loan settings you can also find the long term uh, account so as a loan is a liability you can see that it will comes under the non current liabilities and uh, uh, it uh, an account we have to set under the short term i mean uh, account also and uh, we know a loan is a liability because the user ha has to pay as uh, he has taken the amount for his purpose so it comes under the current liability as well as it is also treated as an expense and we can just mark it under the expense account and here it comes under the journal as miscellaneous operations and if you want to reclassify annually you can just enable this field and you can so just save the changes that you have made and let's back to uh, the yeah upload amortization schedule so if you just upload a sheet that is the half the amortization should happen then the sheet uh, will just fetch the data and will be given over under the amortization schedule and if you want to just pause the entries you can just click on confirm button and you can just pause the entries and the posted entries will be visible under the posted entries smart tab so here you can see that currently we have uh, just posted nine entries and you would be able to find all the uh, nine entries over here uh, and uh, you can see rest of these are in um, draft state because we haven't uh, just paid the loan now let's back and uh, here you can see currently this loan is running and if you want to find the early payments, you can just go to the early payments and this shows all draft entries after 8, 23, 24 will be deleted and the loan will be marked as closed. And yeah, that's it. And if you want to change uh, the date over here, you can change that and you can just make the early payment also. Now let's save the changes that we have made and let's close this. Uh, and if you want to set this to draft you can also set likewise and if you want to just cancel you can also cancel this uh, loan and that's all for today thank you for watching the video